You good? So I'm from the States, and uh, I flew here, and I used to get scared flying, you know, back when there was terrorism, but now the new thing is um, pilots are just going like, fuck this, and just dumping the place. <laughs> That's the new thing. That was the German guy a couple months ago, the German wings guy. Uh, plane crashed into the Alps, wasn't mechanical in any way. Uh, he was just suicidal, and that's how he decided to kill himself. German guy. And you know, it's pretty much the most German way you can do it, by the way. It's like, you don't want to overdose on pills? And he's like, no, plane is best. Um, <laughs> so they think he was depressed. They think the Malaysian air guy was the de depressed, the one that just disappeared. So now my new thing is when I get on a plane, I just make sure the pilot is in a good mood. You know what I mean? Like, he'll be standing there, and I'll be like, Who's this, the pilot or a male model? My God. <laughs> Love to buy a dinner on the other side, pal, but you gotta land the plane. <laughs> I laugh at all their dumb jokes. We were going to Vegas, the guy's like, we're gonna be flying to Lost Wages, and I was in the back like, ha, 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 banging on the cockpit door. Good one, fellas, a lot of love for you out here, guys, a lot of love. <laughs> land the plane, land the plane, land the plane. <laughs> I have a girlfriend. Yeah, thank you very much. <laughs> Girls are hard to date, though. I gotta say, every girlfriend I've ever had, you're all paranoid. Every girlfriend I've ever had was just looking for proof that I didn't really love her. And you're bad detectives, too, women, because you'll read into things that make no sense. She'll draw conclusions that aren't there. I remember one time I took my girlfriend out to dinner, and I forgot to pull the chair out for her at the table, and she's like, you're not ready to be a father. What? <laughs> she was right, but how'd she know? You know what I mean? Yeah, that's why there's no all-female CSI team. Because the episodes wouldn't last long enough. Because women would come on the crime scene, jump to conclusions, and the, <laughs> and the episode would be over in five minutes. Seriously, if there was an all-female CSI team and like a woman got murdered, they'd come on the scene and be like, this woman, did she have a husband? Yeah, he did it, let's get out of here. Really? How do you know? Because he left his sock on the floor instead of the hamper, so clearly he's a sociopath. Case closed. <laughs> yeah, so me and the girl uh, hang out, we watch a lot of documentaries. Last one we watched was about Lance Armstrong. So going in the movie, kind of thought, we all thought about Lance Armstrong, which is maybe he's a piece of garbage, but now that I've seen the movie, it's a little more complicated than that, because look, he won the Tour de France seven times on drugs every time, but because of that, he was able to raise $100 million for cancer research. Say what you want about the guy, but he figured out a way to do drugs for charity. That's something. <laughs> yes. Yes. That must have been hard to resist, too, because I know someone came to me and was like, Neil, you can cure pediatric AIDS, but you're going to have to do a ton of cocaine. I'd be like, let's help some kids, huh? <laughs> Look, I'd be willing to do ecstasy as well if it helps just one child. You know, actually, if it helps no children, I will do ecstasy. <laughs> Fuck it, if it harms one child. <laughs> Lance Armstrong was everywhere, and now he's just gone. I was talking to my buddy about it. He's like, well, yeah, we were hurting Lance Armstrong because we don't like cheaters. I was like, no, no we were hurting Lance Armstrong because we don't give a shit about bicycling. That's where we were hurting Lance Armstrong. <laughs> if he played a good sport, he'd be fine. Baseball players cheat all the time. Football players cheat constantly. In fact, up until a couple years ago, if you were good enough at football, you could pretty much do crime. We were fine with it. <laughs> Michael Vick, Ray Lewis. Ray Lewis tackled so many people that were finally like, you know what, Ray? You get to murder one. To murder one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was a hard year for the NFL because it turns out a lot of those guys are violent. Um, <laughs> which people were surprised by. You can't be surprised that football players are violent. First of all, their job in and of itself is attempted murder. Like, that's the job. <laughs> like, football roster is basically like two guys that can throw, two guys that can catch, kicker, punter, 40 murderers. <laughs> like, whenever I read a headline like, Ray Rice punches girlfriend on elevator, all I see is like, football player does football at the wrong time. <laughs> yeah. It's their whole life, like their whole life's just like, go to practice, do football, go to the game, do football, be with your girlfriend, do football. Shit, I wasn't supposed to do football. <laughs> I was supposed to do elevator and I did football. <laughs>
yeah, the difference between Ray Rice and Ray Lewis was Ray Lewis was great. Ray Rice wasn't good enough to be hitting people. <laughs> yeah, if you're good, you can get away with it. If we like you enough, we'll figure out a way to justify whatever it is you did. Like Wayne Gretzky, at this point, Wayne Gretzky could like stab an old lady in public and everybody be like, you know, we all talk about stabbing old ladies. The great one had the guts to do it. <laughs> That's my time. Thank you very much, you guys. Good night, everybody. God bless.